Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I'm going to use Spreadshock add-on and Animation Notes add-on, um, both to create um, some kind of uh, music visualizations. Um, it's gonna be a simple one. I might have done this in the past, but not in the, not like this. So I'm gonna start real quick. So first of all, I'm gonna quickly create uh, some kind of artworks uh, using Grease Pencil. So, you know, just like uh, some kind of random swiggle. Um, I thought, I was thinking to do this using some kind of algorithm, but I think this is the easiest way to do it. You know, just randomly draw an artwork. Um, yeah, it's, it's made up of multiple grease pencil strokes, and it looks like, it's looking like a cloud or something, or like a brain. But anyhow, um, this is the artwork. It's done, and now we are going to compositing. We're gonna switch to switch on Spreadshock add-on. I'm not gonna do too much here. Um, I'm just gonna convert it into grease pencil. Convert the grease pencil into a curve. Easy enough, you know. Just load it. Control space and load this thing. GP plus grease pencil, and you should get your artwork like so. And it's already resampled. You can increase the resampling or reduce it using uh, this multiplier. Um, yeah, Spreadshock does that very, very um, easy and simple. So this is going to be curve visualizer music. And we are done with this guy. And the next thing we want to do is to use polyline viewer. And this guy will actually generate um, curve and this curve is actually made up of uh, multiple objects if you look at the outliner you can see it's uh, all this alpha we can actually group this guy um, oh there's no option for grouping here that's okay I'm gonna group it manually select all this and then control G I group it it's green color is now al already grouped now the way it works um, I'm gonna switch to animation nodes now and I'm gonna leave it to always let's see how it performs um, I'm gonna grab the groups objects from group so this will grab everything inside the groups and with animation nodes it's actually very easy to animate all kind of uh, objects attributes for example this is a curve object and with a curve object you know that you can go to the under curve um, parameters, uh, curve property, and then you can animate this guy. This is the one that I will be using um, for the music visualizations. So let's see how it works. We just need to use um, attribute object attribute output. Plug this into that guy, and you can see now we have new options, multiple values. That's really cool. You can basically um, grab the this uh, parameter. Let me try copy that apart and then paste it here. And it says, okay, attribute not found. Kind of wondering why. Object.data.bfill factor. Okay, so apparently we need to type in data. So now this is correct. If we try using a float and animating this number that way so it seems to be working and we can use this for music visualizations you know it's pretty cool that way um, but we want to use multiple values because now um, animation nodes works with multiple values pretty easily so that's the idea let's see how we're gonna work this out um, so we want to bring in some music so we need to use um, some kind of Fall off, sound fall off. I have I have not used this, but let's see how it works. We need some kind of uh, music data, so I will bring in some data. I'll just click here, and then okay, it says load new sound. I'm just gonna grab something from here. I made this random music earlier, and hopefully that works. So this sound we can bake it as average or bake the spectrum. Which one we will need? Um, let's try bake average for now. 
now we have this average data and we just grab it here and let's see how it works oh by the way with the with the curve let's try it with the delay follow first of all uh, I'm gonna save to new file so this follow doesn't work right away like I said for the the follow works with the offset nodes and the offset nodes there's only offset vector and, and offset matrices in this case we want to offset um, the curve between 0 and 1 so we can kind of trick this offset vector to work for us we're gonna use random vector and how many curves do we have let's use this length find out, find out the, the length of the curve we just plug this into random vector actually turn on this first plug the count so the count is should be the total number of the curve let's push this up how many curves do we have uh, 25 okay cool so 25 numbers goes in here and we want to scale it to zero so we have uh, we're gonna have vector like zero 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 I'll show you just to be clear we have this value zero 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 and then we just plug this into offset vector and for the output I'm expecting it to have like a zero zero one value so this should be offset of one and the follow-up we can test it using this guy and the output can go into this guy separate vector so we just need the z value and the z value should be a value between 0 and 1 if I if I use frame now plug into the delay and run the simulations uh, okay that's the music but this currently is not affecting anything it's just like kind of like a background music um, but the, uh, the delay and then the the growing curve seems to be working now I will use the sun fall off and let's see how how it looks now yeah okay that's uh, seems to be working actually um, it's very very simple so I'll explain again what's happening so we have curve from our grease pencil that's being generated on the fly using SketchUp. so I can actually you know write something using grease pencil and let it update and this one will generate a new curve and yeah so the new curve seems to be working as well with this guy um, actually let's go let's go back to the grease pencil we have earlier so I'll delete the second one go back to our original compositing yeah it seems to be working except that this guy is probably not in the same group at the moment so I need to select all of this guy and then select this and then link control L and link the group now if they're on the same group now we can control every single curve using animation nodes so that's pretty much it except that we can maybe try baking the spectrum and maybe calculate the spectrum frequencies as well um, how many frequencies do we need uh, that's okay let's just take it 
let's switch from average to spectrum I'm not sure how well this is gonna work Probably. So with spectrum seems like uh, the value seems to be a lot subtle. Maybe the length should be 25. We can probably like uh, remap the value here as well. So map range between 0 0.5 increase it to between 0, 0.0 and 1 so that's um, yeah, it seems to be working but I like the average better I guess Maybe I, I don't know how to use the spectrum. Maybe the spectrum requires a certain number of curve, but average seems to be doing it kind of nicely. Offset. I'm not sure what the offset does, but have a look. Um, with the animation nodes, actually, this thing works a lot faster if you go to switch to 3D view full and then you just turn on the timeline and just record it that way. If I'm not wrong, you can also export this out um, as Alembic or... Yeah, I think it should work with Alembic. So I switch to timeline mode. And with this guy, let's see, Metcat. Ambient occlusion. Yeah, I think that's uh, seems to be working. Um, Maybe we can kind of mix it with Wiggle as well. Wiggle, Wiggle fall off. Uh, or maybe we can use interpolation here. I think, I think maybe if I play around with the sun fall off, um, this can improve the whole the whole result. Yeah, this seems to work really well. Uh, maybe um, if I add like some kind of interpolations, it will work better. And then the curve currently seems to be just switching between zero and one, which is kind of okay. But if you have like a multiple curve and then, you know, like uh, for example, if the curve actually kind of like, like, like a grass like this, and then with a sound visualization, you kind of expect it to have some kind of, uh, kind of like a mountain I don't know if this actually works or not. Low and high attack. 
Um, okay, calculate that. Big spectrum. Seems to be similar. Oh, okay. This one, this one works actually. Let me switch back to animations, crisp pencil, delete the second frame, go back to compositing, back to this guy, and yeah, seems to be working better. Um, I'll put everything in the same group once again. Control L, group, and then let's see how it looks. It's a bit more interesting because we have some kind of variations for each um, spectrum of the the music. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a um, quick music visualization using animation nodes and spare chalk add-on inside Blender. So I think this is very powerful. Um, yeah, once you understand this, you can control anything, not just like a curve, uh, not just like a curve bevel, but any kind of animations. It's gonna be so easy now because you can simply pass in um, values into into any kind of object attribute. So. Hopefully you find this useful and enjoyable. Let me know what you think, any feedback question, and I'll try to answer it. Thanks again for tuning in. Thank you. Bye.